Hi, I'm Rossi, and I speak for a living. And one of the things that I do when I speak is I make a paper rose out of a bar napkin, a bar rose, a.k.a. this bud's for you. <laughs> a paper rose out of a napkin is not a hard trick, but it does take some practice. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to give you all the steps necessary. Making the rose is something that I learned many years ago while tending bar. It is a lovely thing to give people because flowers are so important. You got a waitress or a waiter at a table that's just having a bad day and you can see it on their face. Make them a paper rose and give it to them, and their day just brightens up. I'm going to give you all the steps, one by one, start to finish. <music> Typical bar napkin. Many bar napkins are multi-ply, like this napkin. This is a two-ply napkin. Split the plies. You don't need all of the napkin, just half. Moisten your fingers, make them tacky, reach down in here and pluck and twist and then you can grab it and separate it as I'm doing here. This part of the napkin, we don't need. This is the one we want. Now, step one is to fold it towards you, this top edge, about an inch. Don't crease it. See how I have it folded? Next is to begin to make the bud. Whether you're right-handed or left-handed doesn't matter. Simply make rabbit ears out of your left hand. Rabbit ears? Now watch what these rabbit ears do. They reach down and grab the napkin perpendicular to the very edge. Perpendicular. Right hand brings it towards you. That's the way we're going to fold it. And then hold it with your thumb. Now release with your right hand. Come back around the other side and grab the napkin again. We have just wrapped two fingers. First finger, second finger, hold it with your thumb. This stem is going to need to be a nice tube. So simply straighten it and bring it into a nice rolled tube. Next step, add your third finger. To make it easier, I'm going to take the fingers and overlap them. I know that sounds difficult, but let's try it. Third finger, instead of going right next to it like the ladies can do with the smaller fingers, it's going to go underneath. You ready? Underneath and wrap the third finger. Make sure the stem is straight. Now, this is a real crucial point. The base of the bud is going to be at the tip of your fingers. Esta aquí, right here, tips of your fingers. The tube has, or stem, has begun to roll towards you, scrunching and twisting, staying only at the tip of your fingers, begin to make the stem. Scrunch, twist, scrunch, twist. Stay only at the tip or the bottom of the bud. Scrunch, twist, until it is, and then pinch, until it's very nice and tight. See how nice and tight that is? It'll stand up on its own. At this point, you get to remove your fingers. But your fingers come right out and look at that flower. Ha <laughs> ha, aren't you feeling excited? Let me see yours. Good, good. Placing the left hand on top of the right hand, we're going to make the stem. Another crucial point. You do not want your hands to drift apart. They need to stay together. If they drift apart, you'll get a lumpy, bumpy stem. Nobody wants that. So here you go. Taking your left hand over your right, the left hand is going to do the twisting motion. The right hand is going to hold and keep straight and firm the stem. Look at how it magically unscrews from my hand. When you reach an equal distance from the top and the bottom, equal distance here and here, you will see that you have the front edge of a wraparound skirt. What we're going to do is we're going to take this front edge of the wraparound skirt, we're going to go an equal distance, and we're going to just simply push it up. Let me show you that again. Simply push it up. Now once we've got it pushed up, I want to turn it upside down. So one half of a turn. Next, 
we're going to continue twisting off underneath it. I do that with sort of a rocking motion like we did when we made the tight part of the stem at the bottom of the bud. We twist that, rock it back and forth until you have completed it. Oh, ooh, yeah, good job. Excellent, I like that one. Now, most people quit right here. This is a tulip. I told you that I was going to show you how to make a rose. Here's what you do. We have a coil inside of here. See how it goes around and coils? I'm going to grab the very center of that rose. Now I'm going to turn the stem to tighten the coil. Watch. Tightening the coil. You can get a little rough with it now. We're going to poke it down inside so that it looks like that. Aha! I knew you'd like that. Now. We're going to fold over the outside edge. It's kind of like rolling down a sock. You just fold it over, fold it over all the way around until it meets itself. The most beautiful paper rose you have ever seen, and you made it. Congratulations. Good job. Now you have learned how to impress your friends and family making beautiful paper roses. And what do we know about roses? They're flowers. And what do we know about flowers? You better stop and smell them, because if you don't...